In this video we will compare and showcase all the different Zilla versions that have ever been seen in movies and animated series. Let's get to it. Beginning with Origins, the 1998 TriStar Godzilla was the first attempt by an American studio to reimagine the iconic kaiju. Instead of being the result of a nuclear testing on a prehistoric creature, this Godzilla started life as a simple marine iguana egg, mutated by French nuclear testing in the Pacific Atolls in 1968. By 1998, the mutation had grown into a massive creature that attacked New York City laying over 200 eggs in Madison Square Garden. Then Zilla Jr. is a survivor of the destruction of the Madison Square Garden nest and takes on more of a heroic role in a Godzilla of the series, where he imprints on Dr. Nick Tatopoulos and protects humanity from other mutations. Cyberzilla is a resurrected version of the 1998 Godzilla and was brought back to life by the Leviathan aliens in Godzilla the series and serves as a weapon for their invasion. Then we have the Chameleon. This is a clone of Zilla, an artificial mutation created by a scientist called Cameron Winter who used Godzilla's cells to engineer a creature that could mimic its surroundings and evade detection. Then Zilla from Godzilla Final Wars is essentially a rebranded version of the TriStar Godzilla but Toho renamed Zilla to distinguish it from their classic Godzilla. In Final Wars, Zilla is one of the many kaiju controlled by the aliens called the Zillions as part of their invasion plan on Earth. As for differences in design, the 1998 TriStar Godzilla deviates significantly from the traditional design. Its body is slimmer and more streamlined, resembling a theropod dinosaur like a velociraptor with long legs and a more animalistic posture and smaller dorsal plates. Zilla from Final Wars retains the same appearance but with slight modifications such as upright dorsal plates that point straight up rather than forward and a color scheme with a bluish tint to match the updated visuals. Zilla Jr. looks quite similar to the 1998 Godzilla but with some visual tweaks. His dorsal plates glow when charging his atomic breath otherwise he's just the same. Cyberzilla combines the decayed body of the 1998 version with extensive cybernetic modifications. Its limbs are armored with one arm replaced entirely by a mechanical claw and it sports missile launchers on its back. Its head is encased in machinery which gives it a more fearsome Frankenstein-like appearance. The chameleon on the other hand has an incredibly unique and monstrous design. While still retaining the body shape similar to Zilla, it has a bizarre feature like a tri jawed head with three jaws and clawed appendages and eyes on its shoulders. It even has a mouth on its chest. Now for size differences, the 1998 Godzilla stands about 180 feet or 55 meters tall and with the dorsal plates slightly over 60 meters. Zilla from Final Wars is notably larger, standing around 300 feet or 90 meters tall which may just be his erect posture and possibly to match Toho's Godzilla for the movie's battle sequence. Zilla Jr. like his father retains a 180 foot height but grows bulkier and stronger as he matures in the series. Cyberzilla remains at the same 180 foot height cause he was dead and he can't grow anymore and is very skinny but looks bulky due to the cybernetic enhancements, especially with the large missile launchers. The chameleon is one of the larger mutations and appears slightly taller and more massive than Zilla Jr. Then we have the differences in powers and abilities. The 1998 Godzilla is far more agile than the traditional versions, capable of running over 300 miles an hour, which is almost unheard of in kaiju lore except for the flying ones. It can also burrow through concrete and steel with ease tunneling on the ground. While lacking the iconic atomic breath, this Godzilla possesses a power breath, a strong gust of wind that can ignite into flames when mixed with gas, though it is not as powerful as the classic Godzilla's attack. Zilla from the Final Wars doesn't show any unique powers at all, although his agility and burrowing ability are still there. Zilla Jr., however, is much more formidable, combining the speed and burrowing abilities of its parent with the addition of the atomic breath. And his atomic breath is green, with dorsal plates that glow blue before he unleashes the attack, making him much more similar to Toho's Godzilla. He also possesses a healing factor which allows him to recover from wounds very quickly. Cyberzilla amplifies these powers with cybernetic enhancements. He has missile launches on his back, a blue atomic breath and the ability to deflect sound-based attacks with a chest-mounted energy dish. Then for the chameleon, its primary power is its ability to blend into its surroundings, much like an actual chameleon. It is also somewhat resistant to Zilla Jr.'s atomic breath, at least for some time. Now when we look at weaknesses, the 1998 Godzilla's primary weakness is its lack of durability. While fast and cunning, 
is vulnerable to conventional weapons. In the movie, it is killed by a few missiles launched from fighter jets, something Toho's Godzilla would just shrug off easily. Zilla from Final Wars shares this weakness, being dispatched almost effortlessly by Godzilla with a single swipe of its tail and a blast of the atomic breath. Zilla Jr., however, shows much greater resilience. Even as a juvenile, he can withstand missile strikes, and as an adult, he regularly takes on advanced weaponry with minimal harm. His healing factor makes him even harder to defeat. Cyberzilla, despite its enhancements, is still vulnerable to concentrated attacks, particularly from Zilla Jr., who eventually defeats it. Then the Chameleon is even hardier and more durable than Zilla Jr. However, it is very vulnerable to some sort of a chemical attack that dissolves it almost instantly in Godzilla the series. Then lastly, as for personalities, the 1998 Godzilla is portrayed more like an animal than a kaiju. It avoids conflict with humans when possible, relying on its speed and cunning to evade danger. Its primary goal was to survive and protect its nest. Zilla from Final Wars shows little personality beyond being a pawn of the Zillions, and is really forgettable in terms of characterization. Zilla Jr., however, has a much more developed personality. He actively defends humanity, showing loyalty to Nick Totopoulos and even a sense of justice when fighting other mutations. Cyberzilla is completely devoid of personality, acting as a mind-controlled weapon for the Leviathan aliens, and the Chameleon is much like the 1998 Godzilla, using stealth and cunning rather than brute force, but beyond that, it doesn't display much in terms of unique traits. Now that's the end of the Zilla comparison here. Like, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Take care fam.